Hello people this is self tuts and we are continuing our series on docker for beginners and in this video we will learn the docker architecture so we are not going into the details of the docker architecture we'll see a macroscopic view that what are the different components of docker how they are connected to each other and how we can use them so if we talk about the docker architecture then docker uses client and server architecture so there is a client and there is a server and they communicate between each other to facilitate the functionalities of a docker environment so docker client and server can be on the same machines or different machine so this is a important concept that the client and server can be on the same machine or the different machine also docker client and server communicate using the rest api over the unix socket so they use rest protocol for the communication so client will call the rest api on the docker server and it will get a response from the docker server so let's say this is a local machine and you have a docker client installed so let's say this is my machine and we have a docker client here then we can have a docker server on the same machine or we can have it on a different machine so another machine can be a amazon ec2 instance and where we have already let's say installed docker and the docker server is running there so this client can connect both either to my local docker server or to the remote docker server using the docker daemon configurations and then doing the communication using this rest protocol docker client talks to the docker daemon and docker daemon does the heavy lifting of building running and distributing the docker containers so the most important thing which is performed in the docker ecosystem is by docker daemon which basically does all the building running and distributions of the docker container so let's say the macroscopic view of the docker architecture so that can be divided into three most important part one is the client section another is the docker host or the docker server and then the third part is the registry so what does what is docker client so docker client is a uh, command line interface through which you can interact with the docker host using the rest api on unix so docker client gives you different command let's say docker run for creating the container docker build for creating the images docker pull for downloading the images so there are n number of commands which you can use on the client let's see those commands so if i go to my terminal and if i see docker if i just type docker so it will give you the different commands that can be used let's say attach commit cp create and these are the descriptions to understand these things into more detail you can you can either refer docker documentation or you can also view the next videos of this series to understand these things in more depth so this is docker client the docker host is the heart of the docker ecosystem or docker architecture which basically constitutes of a docker daemon client connects to the docker daemon using the rest api and then we have images here we have containers here and there is a docker registry which basically hosts all the images and then extensions and plugins so extensions are like uh, extra features that can be added over to the docker host and there are different plugins to perform different task docker images we will learn in the next videos docker containers are the instances of this docker images so this is the overall architecture i am not going into the depth of these because this is a docker beginner course we'll understand each thing into detail in the next videos and also more in depth will be done in the docker intermediate course so on a macroscopic level what we can say that it constitutes of three things clients docker host and the registry so this is the overall architecture of the docker hope you like this video hope you like my channel please share these videos with other people and please subscribe to my channel thank you